Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Daniel and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to just quickly go over a couple of things that are missing in the Unify Dream Machine 1.9.0, such as insights and events. Just show you how to get to them and take it from there. Now, if I have helped you in any way, or if you like the content that I supply, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, press the thumbs up, and let's just get straight into it, eh? So, Uni Ubiquity actually released firmware version 1.9.0 to the public. It is now an official release. Now, as you would have seen from a previous video of mine, I'm not a big fan of Unify version 1.9.0. There's a lot of features that are missing that I feel like shouldn't be missing. And there's also a lot of bugs, um, a lot of changes. It has broken some people. Now, personally, I haven't had an issue with the firmware myself, other than the missing features that I don't like okay um but other than that i personally haven't had an issue myself nor have i had an issue with any of the upgrades that i've done for my clients with this in mind though i am still disappointed about a few things now straight up off the bat i would like to state that they have actually fixed quite a few bugs that i originally thought were bugs uh so such as a top topology map this does seem to be running a lot better for me now and is working correctly um, I still think it should be vertical, but it is looking a lot better. Now, we're not going to get too far into the details with version 1.9.0 right now, as I just want to show you where you can find the missing insights page and the missing events page. So if you remember from a previous video, I stated that the insights are missing all the other features and we use these features on a daily basis and there's nothing in alerts and events is completely missing now alerts is pathetic like all they show me that a client had disconnected from a network it doesn't show me when a client connects to the network and it doesn't show me basically anything else at all so insights and events which are the one of the two biggest features that i use is missing from the brand new interface now to get them back you can turn off the new interface and go back to classic settings so to do that all you need to do is click on settings scroll down to system settings scroll down to new user interface turn that off and press deactivate and when you deactivate this you do get the official insights page back so you can go back to client history you can access your past connections and your neighboring access points Wi-Fi man is still actually there just in a separate tab and the events page is still here now I'm not sure that I like this because the new user interface is where ubiquity is actually heading okay they want people to start using a new interface they don't want you to use the old classic settings anymore but the problem is a lot of these features are still in the classic settings and not in the new interface. Now, I'm really hoping that they don't remove the events tab or the insights tab. These are something that we use every single day. But at least you know yourself how to get the insights and the events tab back. I mean, even alerts here, as you can see, even alerts, it shows me so much more information where is the threat management information on the new interface now i know you can see that directly under threat management but the alerts the events and the insights are something that we use every single day now if you do want to go back to the new interface all you need to do is click on settings scroll down to user interface press on new user interface and press apply as you can see this does take you back to the new interface um, and you can go back to from there all right, so that's it for this video. I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that you can still access the events page and the insights page. You just had to go into the old classic settings to do so. If that's what was holding you back from upgrading, um, then you should be free to still go ahead and upgrade. Just be very cautious when upgrading as a lot of people are reporting multiple issues. Okay? Don't forget, smash that subscribe button, press the thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.